Hey dudes, today I wanna to talk about something I'm really proud of and I use all of the time. It's a Chris Morocco metering hack that helps you find the overall loudness really quickly. Now you can use this on just your dialogue or everything you have in the session, whatever you want, but basically this gets us into the correct zone or correct overall loudness really quickly so we can move on to the creative mixing as fast as possible. So let's jump right into it and see what I'm talking about. So hopefully you've been following along with my routing and template videos. Uh, at the very least, you'll need a meter aux and a final out aux. Hopefully something's flashing across the top right now if you need a refresher on it, but otherwise let's jump right into it. So I have, you know, probably background tracks, FX tracks. I might even have music tracks in here. Uh, for the sake of this particular video, uh, I just wanted to have these available here so you could see that what I wanna do is actually just solo the dialogue and then I'm ready to go. So I could go through clip by clip and hit play Not one effect with and find out what my long-term uh, luffs average of every clip is, or I could use this hack. So let's reset it. All right, to get started with this, uh, I usually just make a long selection like this. It's kind of optional, but I'll show you why I do it in a minute. And then again, we're just measuring the dialogue. So I'm just double checking that our dialogue is soloed. That means that we're only measuring the dialogue and I'm double checking that our meter has been reset. It is back to negative 80, which means nothing has ran through it previous to this moment. And I'm gonna go to file, bounce mix. Okay, so the two most important things in this menu for this method is to just change the mix source to be the bus of your final out and to make sure that you have offline bounce. This means real time if it's unselected, which defeats the purpose of trying to quickly and efficiently find this number that we're looking for. If I hit offline, it'll go as fast as the computer can go. And that's it because we're gonna hit bounce as soon as it's ran through and it starts to move really fast, I hit escape. Because I made this long selection, it gave me some time to hit escape before the print actually got created. It's optional because you could just create the print and it's not gonna hurt anybody. But there you go. This told me that the overall average of these files that I have in my session are negative 31 and the range is 15. So if you've been playing along at home or you've ever talked to me, you'll know that a lot of streaming services are asking for the overall loudness of your movie to be negative 24. And usually what I recommend is that your dialogue is between negative 24 and negative 30. So if we just did some quick math here, I could go up by three dB and that would get me to 31, 30, 29, 28. I'm not embarrassed to use my fingers to count. 28 is in between 24 and 30. That seems good to me. You can use multiple methods to do this at this point. So I can hold control and shift and hit the minus key. I will show you again by holding control shift and minus right here. That will bring up the clip gain lines. I can then just literally select everything, click on any clip and then increase by three I usually then hold command after I am clicking and dragging because that narrows it down and makes it a lot easier to hit an exact number. So you see that it's going by 0.1. If I let go, it's a little bit harder to find three, but if I go hold command while I'm clicking and dragging, boom, I've moved everything up by three and I'm good. I will undo that. I will control shift and minus to get rid of this line. And I'll show you another way you can do this, which is just control shift and up arrow. I can do that twice because that is called clip gain nudge. And I know that I have my clip gain nudge set to 1.5. 1 1.5 1 .5 plus 1.5 is three. So that is what I increased it to and we're good. If you wanna check that setting, you can go to Pro Tools settings editing and there is your clip gain nudge value at 1.5. Now we can zero out the meter. Make your long selection if you'd like to. You can also hold command option and B to open up this menu. Hit bounce. 
cancel before it actually prints. And our math was correct. We are now at negative 28 LUFs. So cool. That is my Chris Morocco metering hack that will quickly help you find the overall loudness that you are looking for. Does this mean you are completely done with the mix and there's nothing else left to do? Of course not. You'll have plenty more to do with clip gaining, volume automation, etc. But this does quickly get you to the right overall zone, so to speak, so that you can just move on to the creative mixing that you need to do. I hope you get to use this in all your projects. I most certainly use this on every project that I ever work on. And until next time, later dudes.